Eagle John. I'm going to do a series of small videos on compass land navigation. I want to try to stay away from aviation and mariner navigation best I can I can <laughs> if it's possible. So the first thing I want to start with is the compass. This is a compass. This is called a compass rose. R-O-S-E. This big compass is for teaching people what the compass is about. This is a pointer on the compass. It goes all the way across. When every compass has one of these. The red, usually a red part. It's got a red part and a white part on it. The red part is magnetized. It was magnetized at the factory. It will always point toward the north. It will point magnetic north. Just remember that word right now, magnetic north. The compass always points toward magnetic north. Well, however I turn this, this compass in different directions, it will always be pointing to the north. If I take this and move this and turn it this way, that compass, that heading will always be pointing toward the north. I might turn my body to the east, but it, all, it is always pointing toward the north. Regardless of what this outer ring says, this is pointing toward the north. Magnetic north. So if this pointer is pointing toward the north, that's magnetic north. Now the reason it's called magnetic north is because there are actually two norths, believe it or not. We'll call it two norths. There is a magnetic north, which this is pointing to right now. For example, and there is a true north. The true north is the North Pole. The true south is the South Pole. There are there's something called a magnetic field, which is around the Earth, and at different places on the Earth, different countries, and different areas. There's something called declination. And there's different declination all around all around the earth at different places and different declinations. But we'll get into that just a little bit. But just remember this is always pointing toward the north. So everywhere in the world we have compass. We have north, south, east and west the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west so when we're looking north our right hand and our right foot and our right eyeball and our right side of our head everything on the right side of us is east so as long as you remember if you're pointing north if you're looking north everything on the right is east the rest will come to you So we also have other headings on here. We have zero to zero. Let's move. Let's do this all to the right. We're going to go to the right. Everything's going to be taught to the right, counter clockwise on the compass. So going to the right, we are going zero to zero, and in between there is zero three zero. It doesn't have it written on there, but it's zero three zero. It's ten, ten degree increments. And all these increments in between are 2 degrees. So we have 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and so on. And as you can see, east is 090. South is 180. And west is 270. And then back to north is 360. I've heard some people call it north zero degrees. I do not know why they call it zero degrees, 
because the compass goes from 360 and then to one degree. 360 is north. I'll show you an example of what I was talking about. See right there I'm pointing 360 north. Magnetic north. And when I turn my body this arrow over here continues to point north. It does not matter which way I turn my body. That will always point magnetic north.